What's up, YouTubists? It's time. It's a playing video, but uh, this is going to be more of a playing concept video, and instead of an exercise, uh, I'm going to start from square one here and um, just make sure that uh, you guys are doing it right from, from the beginning. And this is something I see in a lot of students that uh, we have to work to correct right away, and so I wanted to do sort of the same thing for you guys, just so you can check in on your own technique. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what I see is that a lot of students, uh, especially those that are playing tuba and uh, are switching from trumpet, uh, they go into it uh, trying to use the same embouchure just in a bigger mouthpiece, and it doesn't work. Um, and really, I think that that there might be some uh, merit to the idea that trumpet players are, are doing it wrong too, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's just worry about the tuba. So um, what they're doing is they're buzzing. Uh, their, their primary objective for making sound is buzzing, and that's kind of wrong. Um, the buzzing is a byproduct of the air that's passing through your lips. Um, and there's an audible difference, and hopefully, um, while I've, you may have noticed, the audio quality hopefully is a little bit better for you guys. Um, so I've got a little lapel mic. I know it's cheap, but it provides a little bit better audio. And then I've got another mic set up for the, uh, the tuba sounds themselves. So hopefully you can hear the difference uh, when I go to play these two things for you. But what they're doing into the mouthpiece is they're buzzing with a lot of pressure on their lips um, and really what you want to be doing is more like that but just more controlled and it's just the air that's passing through your lips that's causing the buzz um, and the primary objective is the air not the buzz um, and so when you put it into the tuba it's an audible difference and uh, I, I hope you can hear it but I'm gonna start with what it sounds like to do it uh, wrong. So with the pressure on the lips sort of pinching together and the primary objective here is the buzz not the air. So this is what that sounds like. It's a really controlled buzz. Versus if I just blow into the mouthpiece uh, and control the air speed and quantity rather than the buzz itself you get a much more full sound. Okay, the big audible difference. So uh, next time you go to play, maybe you can crack it out right now and see. Try just blow into the mouthpiece. Whatever sound comes out, I don't care if it's a B flat or an F or if you're on a C tuba, a C or a G or whatever. It does. That doesn't matter. You can you can control the airspeed later. Just let's do a check in to find out what's happening first. Uh, so I want you to purposely blow into your mouthpiece just air. Uh, so that no sound comes out first, like this. And then I want you to just relax your lips, bring them closer together gradually until they naturally start to vibrate. Don't force the buzz. Okay, there should be a notable difference in tone if you've been doing it the other way. If you've been buzzing incorrectly, if you've been in, uh, pinching your lips together to force a buzz to happen, that's the tone you're going to get and it's really not desirable so if you can learn to switch to uh, instead of manipulating a buzz manipulate your airspeed to control the sound you'll get a bigger fuller sound it uses more air but air is one of the last things in life that's free unless you're filling up your tires at a gas station then they'll charge you a dollar for or whatever 25 cents or something but uh, so, there's a little check-in for you. Um, start with that, and uh, we'll see if I can do some more playing videos for you soon. Uh, just to sort of um, get ahead of the people that are going to ask me what I'm playing, because uh, they haven't seen my introduction video, or because the audio in that video sucks, uh, I'll just tell you what I'm playing, because you might have noticed that my mouthpiece looks funny or something. So. Uh, I'm playing, this is a Jupiter uh, XO1284, um, it's the five quarter C tuba, uh, five valve, um, and then I've got a Marcinkowicz uh, Proline 
Concert Hall H2, which is like a con Helleberg with just these funny ridges on the outside. Um, they claim it does certain things to the sound. I don't know if there's any truth to it, but I like it, so I keep it. Um, so uh, like the video, subscribe. Um, if you have any comments for other tuba players, people watching this, you have comments from me, post them below. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.